All right, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. We are back here um, playing some Gold Rush the game. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do, uh, we're going to try to get through. We, we currently have our, our, our hog pan with no, uh, no pump, which means I am manually dumping buckets of water in there to, to wash, uh, wash the pay dirt, uh, which is what you call um, dirt that you know that has gold in it because that's what pays the bills. So that's pay dirt. So vocabulary word of the day. Um, dump buckets of pay dirt, uh, or you shovel straight in, dump buckets of water, um, goes over the, uh, the matting, which has little bitty riffles, um, that kind of trap the gold, water goes over it. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. Um, here you shovel, um, goes through all that and panning. Um, and then our next, I guess, step is to, is to up, um, to have a, a water pump. And the water pump will, will go ahead and, uh, basically do the water for us. So we can just continuously shovel and shovel and shovel and the water is going the whole time. Um, and then you can add an extra, um, because there's so much water and you're putting so much, um, material through, you add an extra sluice. Um, to the end of this one and then you get an extra long one and it will it, you can as these riffles fill up with gold it moves further 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 down the sluices so the longer your sluices the longer you can just keep shoveling without having to take the mats out and wash them out and and stuff like that so that's that's kind of um where we're at now um that's the goal i guess um so i don't know how long it's gonna take um i'm not even quite sure yet how to uh how to, to smelt the gold um or sell it yet so um that's also a geez um something to to figure out how to do in this game is to turn that in and get get cash because i currently have uh 43 grams which is more than an ounce um uh and i only have 69 dollars so i need more cash to buy more equipment Ooh, another nugget oh c65 that's almost two grams one more 97 that's good okay let's put this away get our bucket let's see if I can't get better at the whole painting process too because I wasn't I was kind of figuring that out last time um, so hopefully I can get a little better at that make sure I'm, I'm getting every bit of gold that we find here I'm gonna do one one round of this. I'm gonna try to get the mats as full as I can. Um, before, because right now the mats are 19% full, so um, I can probably do this a couple times um, before they get completely full. Find some more nuggets and stuff, and and really. Get some cash to uh, get new equipment. There's another one. Ooh, point seven three ounces. I wonder if I have to have a certain amount before it will let me. Uh, go ahead and, and cash cash it in or, or smelt it down into a brick like I don't know what the um, I mean you can typically in real world situations you can you can go down to having a one ounce um, not really brick of gold but you can you can smelt gold down by the ounce I've seen one ounce uh, bars uh, bars of gold so I don't know if there's a, a minimum if you have to have 10 ounces or or something like that in this game. Um, I haven't figured that out yet. Maybe at some point I'll I'll try to 
to figure that out. What are my other... So I have two... Oh, I don't know what that other... Oh, what is it? Oh, a flashlight. Oh, I have a flashlight. Okay, I was wondering what that other thing was. Um, I don't know how useful that is to me at this point, but... And normally for me, like, when I go out painting, like, I'm not... In Alaska or Canada or... Um, even, I don't know, maybe Colorado, if you're on a, a gold claim uh, where there's placer gold um, or gold that naturally comes from the ground, um, you can kind of shovel right in the ground like this, but here in the Midwest where I am, you're... And all our gold here is, is glacial, which means a, a glacier rolled through the Midwest um, from Canada um, and kind of dropped, it picked up the gold in Canada and kind of dropped it along the way. Um, so that's what I'm picking up. And what it basically, as it, as the glacier melts, it drops it into creeks. And here in the Midwest, you can find it along the banks of, of creeks. So I'm not just digging in the ground wherever, wherever I go. Um, I gotta, I gotta find it in the water. So I'll, I'll dig in, in sandbars and, and things and, um, stuff like that to find the, the little teeny tiny pieces of gold I'm not finding 0.7 ounce nuggets here no way Jose Oop. No. Uh, they're 57% full so we'll keep digging you're watching this and uh and you prospect or, or pan yourself uh let me know in the comments what's the biggest nugget or or picker um basically a picker is anything that uh any piece of gold you can pick up with your fingers you don't need a, a snuffer bottle or tweezers if you can pick that sucker up with your fingers that's a picker um what's the biggest piece of gold that you've ever found and that doesn't matter if you found it yourself or you you bought pay dirt uh, from a a place online. There's a lot of guys in, in Canada and Alaska um, that have gold mines and they don't want to mine it all themselves, so they uh, they'll just kind of bag up dirt and they'll and you can buy it. Um, there's a couple reputable ones that I go to, especially in the winter here. I can't mine in the winter, so I'll. I'll, I'll buy some online and, and, and do some some kind of garage prospecting as we go. Oh, that's the bottom of that. Oh, do I have some in my... Oh, I guess I do. Um, some garage or basement prospecting where I'm just panning in a bucket the dirt that I buy online. Sometimes I do that just to uh, feed the fever as they say. You know, this looks boring to some people. Like, why would you buy a game where you're just shoveling dirt and dumping it in there? You know, it actually is uh, soothing, um, I guess. You know, some people do yoga. Some people dig in the dirt, you know. It's my kind of form. I'll pan for hours, you know. Um, I'll be going out as early as March this year to some of the places that actually allow you to, to pan here in Indiana. And I'll be out there just panning all afternoon. And it, it man, it's a good way to clear your head, do some thinking, find some gold here and there. It's great, so... I get it. It's not as exciting as PUBG right now. I bet, you know what? I bet, though, when I get some heavy machinery, it, it's going to get pretty exciting. Oh, 95% full. Sweet. So let's let's do this. I think I need a bucket of water. 
drop you down. Detach. Easy. There you go. Use. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Detach. There we go. Put those back. Alright, now let's take the bucket. Let's go do some painting. Let's see what we got. We currently... Oh, wow, after all those nuggets I found, I got 137 grams? Like, that's... That's substantial. Okay. Alright, so let's see if I can remember how to do this. Dump it down, pick it up, shake it around. I think W, yeah, W leans it forward. Dump the water out. Takes around. I mean, I guess it's the basic principle of of painting. There's only so much you can do in this kind of game, I guess. Ooh, there's more than I thought, though. And what was? Um, nope. Oh, there we go. Shift. Oh, there's a little, see, there's a little piece I would have missed. Kind of roll it around a little bit. All right. those rocks out. All right. So should I just keep doing this until it doesn't get as dirty? So let's do this. Let's let's get these pieces. So now, let's see if I can, if it'll give me more. Don't think so. I think what I get is what I get. Yeah, because it's not even getting dirty anymore. All right. Okay, that was a good experiment. Dump that stuff, that junk out of there. So what do we got so far? 146. Is that it? That's the end of my bucket, so let's see. Tell you what, the first time you see that, because it doesn't matter if you're in the sun, if you're in the shade, uh, what, wh whether you're inside, outside, gold, 
one of the big differences between like gold and pyrite is that pyrite, I, I guess, kind of shines in the sunlight, but gold doesn't matter if you're in the sun, in the shade, it it just like flashes. And the first time you see that flash in your pan, oh man, you'll get the fever. I'm telling you what. All right, so let's put this down. So I have 151 grams. Like, come on. There's got to be a way to melt this down or something. I don't know what to do here. All right, so I'm going to tab out. All right, guys. So <coughs> here we are. Um... Turns out I do, in fact, have to go um, right here to, whoop, what am I doing? Parking brake, turn off the car, get out, yeah, man. Uh, to the blacksmith, here. The blacksmith is going to melt my gold down. So here we go. So, sell ore, craft, amount of gold. Um, so your raw weight, um, when it says gold losses here, you're not losing gold. This is the, the impurities that are in the gold, um, just junk slag, um, that melts off, um, and you're left with a pure, uh, most places will, will prefer a, a bar of gold than to, than just raw gold in a jar because there's this extra weight of, of stuff that's lost, um. So it cost me $54 to smelt this. Um, or I can sell the ore. If I sell it, man, that's a ton. $5,000. See, ore sales minus 20%, and that's because of that. Well, one, they got to make a profit too. So they're not going to give you 100% spot price. They're going to they're gonna take 80%. Um, se some 75% even. Um, I, I feel like 80 is fair. Um, but for slag and, and gold, so let's see. So if I sell the ore, you know what? I think right now I'm going to sell the ore. Um, info, smelting price, one ounce. Loss of gold, 59% smelting gold total. I'm just going to sell it for right now, so... Boom, I have zero gold and $5,000. So now what I'm going to do is head over to the shop and see if I can't buy. Oop. Buy that, the new gear that I want. Now remember, the, 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 the big thing is to get like a full-on wash plant and to do that I need 13 grand plus because that's uh, it's more than just the wash plant there's other stuff I need to to run the wash plant so um, yeah being able to 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 do this did I go the right way let's check the map um, oh the warehouse is back here so I'm on the wrong street I'm one street too far. Alright, so I need to go this way, I think. Right? Yes. Um, so I, I'm gonna need, I don't know, 15 grand at least? But this should be... Go Ooh! Don't wreck my truck. All right, so let's check. Let's check this. Let's check the journal. Um, so I don't. Not this. I'm not here yet. I'm still tier one extension. So small water pump. Let's let's get this stuff. Water pump small. Uh, e order. Add journal. A fat water hose. A thin water hose. So one of these, one of these, uh, 
Um, journal. I wish it would stay there. Um, thin water hose. Water filter. Two more hog pen maps. I don't know where the water filters are. Where? Um, all right, let's see if we can find this together, guys. Wash plant springs, miner's moss, trommel chain. Not into that stuff yet. I figured it would be over here, right? With the water pump stuff. Water hose connector, water hose splitter, duct tape, fire extinguisher, battery. Oh no. Okay, so, um, hog pan with a pump, and, okay, so, we need two more of these. Add. Hog pan with a pump. Add. Swiss box core, Swiss box extension. Add. Okay, so now all we need now is filter. Mobile generator. Pump small. Water table. Wash plant springs. stuff. Where's a filter? Anything over here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Outer cog car jack. Inner cog. Tooth. Oh, that's important for heavy machinery. Fuel filter. Bulldozer tracks. I feel like those are going to break. Water filter. Bingo. Because you don't want to suck a bunch of junk up into... Oh, painting system. There we go. Neat. And gold pans. I feel like those were... Were those there last time? I don't know. So I think that's everything. That's everything... What does this come to? Total cost, $615. Man, easy money, guys. Easy money. Oh man, have I left that down this whole time? Okay, so let's get this big ol' sluice in here first. Let's get this set up and then I'll... I will call this... I don't know, we'll see how long I've been doing this for. We might just call this an episode. I feel like every time I accomplish something major, I'm like, eh, maybe I'll end here. Oh. It's great. Get this big ol' water pump in here. Ooh. Okay. Uh, big fat hose. As long as I can still fit this stuff. I don't know how I'm going to get... I'm going to need to buy a trailer at some point. And I'm not a fan of driving with trailers. My brother is a semi-truck driver, and I don't know how he does it, because I don't like driving with trailers. I don't know. They just freak me out. I think I've ridden behind too many people with trailers that have, like, lost things out of their trailer. And then it goes, like, toppling through the highway. In fact, when I was moving here... We didn't see it, but me and my brother were in our move, like our moving truck, and uh, we had passed a bunch of cars that were on the side of the road. And what had appeared to have happened was someone had like a love seat in a trailer, and they dumped the love seat, and then like a car hit the love seat, and then another car hit that car, and it was just it was a mess, and there was just like love seat stuff, like the stuffing, <laughs> like everywhere. And I'm like, man, I'm so glad we didn't hit that. Alright, so I might just kind of, I don't want you guys to 
see me have to drive all the way there, so I might just jump cut. All right, guys, so here we are, um, back at the mine site. Um, open this up. It's nighttime right now. I don't. Uh, I thought there was a bed in there. Maybe I can... So I don't need you anymore. So I'm just going to put you right here for now. Um, um, uh oh. Oh, uh, glitchy, glitchy. That probably wasn't a smart idea. So we are going to put this here. There we go. Now it's going to roll down here and then drop and then roll down there. So that's going to be great. Um, I got to figure out how to set up this hose first. Actually, is there is it hooked? Oh wait, I don't have the thing yet. Can I pick stuff up? No, oh, I guess I can't. go. I don't know where this is going to go yet. I don't know. Oh, here we go. I guess I just leave that there. Okay, so that is going to go here. Nice. So let's get this. Nope, that's not what I need. That is going to go here. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so let's take this. We'll put you in. Put you in. Okay, the fact that this says gas is needed worries me, because it did not say that. Either that or I'm probably just not paying attention, which is purely possible. Okay, so that can go. Oop. There we go, that's in the water now. So this. Aha. There we go. Now this goes. There. Bingo, bango. But I need gas? <sighs> it didn't tell me that. Turtle. Oh, here we go. Water plus filter plus hose. Remember to refuel the water pump. Hmm. Star. Oops. Water into filter, into hose, into here, into small hose, into there, under there. All right, guys. So I guess I have to go get some fuel. Okay guys, so I went to go get a gas can and then I realized it was just a can. So I looked I looked at the map and I saw that there's a gas station. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna have to go get actual gas. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I bought a can here. I just bought one, which I don't know, maybe that's gonna screw me later. But how do I get gas? Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. This game. This game is intense. Leaders? Uh, 20 liters. Interesting. Refuel. So I guess it's full now? There's no like indicator on it. Like, I'm assuming maybe I should, while I'm here, and I have the money, <laughs> I'm assuming I should probably refuel the truck. What happens if I try to refuel it now? Oh, see, it tells me I'm full. All righty. Okay, so. And this is on the clear other side of town, which is so annoying. So. Uh, start the car. Oh, look, and the. Uh, you know what? The fuel gauge actually works, which is nice. So. Here we are. Off to the claim again. Alright, guys. Um, we are back. We have fuel now, ever so important, and I'm stuck. There we go. Here we go. Use. Nice. Fuel tank is refilled. I'm just going to lay this fuel tank right here. Maybe it's a good idea, maybe it's not a good idea. I don't know. So how do I... Here we go. Switch? Oh my gosh, this is so intense. That's a stop. Okay, so what? All right. <laughs> Man, this game, I'll tell you what. Oh, wait, it's going. Well, that's. Okay, never mind. So when I hit the switch. That stops it. Yes. Okay. Now I'm following. I only have to do this once. I was waiting for it to be like... Burr, 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 burr. But that apparently is it. So let's... See now... See? It doesn't fill up. I can just... Oh, yeah. Here we go. And it's not filling up as fast because it's spreading across four of these bad boys. Now we are in it. We are going to start making some money. Found a nugget. gonna see how long it takes me to fill this and then I will call it an episode man it's taking me forever to fill this thing up last time it was filled up in like a couple scoops Another nugget. 
and let's see it go. Oh, this is a great. I mean, so this setup right here, where you have a water pump, um, and you're pumping water across your sluice boxes, and you've got your 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 hopper right here. This is what we call a high banker, because um, you're on you're high on the bank of a creek or water supply. The water and the dirt is running right back into the river where you got it from. Um, and the gold is hopefully staying in your, um, in your mats. So we have ourselves a legit high banker right now. And it's a beautiful sight, honestly. And in real life, you can, you can scoop, I mean, you, you can scoop shovels into your high banker for hours I mean yeah until you start seeing gold down in the very ends you I mean you keep scooping just scoop 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 away another nugget ooh almost a full ounce nugget that's impressive Still only at 58%. I mean, this is taking a long time to fill up. Another nugget. Ooh, 1.03 ounces. So we're, I mean, just in nuggets, we're almost to where we were a minute ago. Or like before we moved up to this step. See how much more efficient this is? And it just gets better as we go. 78%. Maybe 1%. Maybe 2%. 83%. Another nugget. Point. They get bigger every time. Is my, did I leave my bucket in the in the shack? I think I did. I need that bucket to wash my mats out. I think that's it. I think that's where I'm going to stop. 98% is a good place to stop. So um, you, you never want to leave your water just running um, without putting material in because the material is just packing stuff down into that mat. When you leave the water running um, without running material, you run the risk of uh, just washing your gold out. So, all right. So I'm going to go get my bucket. Um, and next episode, we will wash these mats out and see what we get. So thanks for watching, guys.